Hey, welcome to a new episode of Dan Dan Dan. I have to tell you, this show is crazy. Like actual insanity is happening right here. So we start off this episode. And first, the baby girl here just told our boy Okarun. He can't use his name anymore. Why? Because she has the hots for this famous person called Ken Takamura. So since Okarun's real government name is Ken Takamura, she's banning him from using his name. Like, bro, what? So while she's wilding out, Drake's grandma conveniently comes out and tries to take over Okarun's body. And this grandma is weird as hell. She has not slowed down one bit. She's saying things like, Go crazy! Ah, 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 go stupid! Ah! You know bro is finished. So Momo ends up giving him the name Okarun. Well, like bro's yeah, life well. as a functional member of society just ended. Like my man is going to live a life of zero holes. You can't tell me this man can continue living life with no squirrel. Nah, that has to be the worst type of torture. Cause I'd rather be captured and tortured by Homelander. Nah, scratch that. I mean Batman. Yeah, Batman. Then go through what Okarun is going through right now. And baby girl isn't helping at all. She's constantly yapping like bro can't you see we're in a serious predicament like this shit is worse than life or death and she's just yapping away boy this opening is tough so they end up heading to momo's home since you know okarun can be alone because of the cause taking complete control over him and first off momo's like my grandma doesn't like boys she might just end you and i'm like bro what are you on and another thing is like all the grandmas in this show got mental issues they they have to be doing crack or something cause are you for real so okarun is about to step through the gates when all of a sudden bam he bursts out into flames like bro cannot catch a break turns out momo's crackhead of a grandma puts up a talisman barrier which means so when any evil spirit tries to enter they bust that into flames <sighs> yeah like that would have been helpful information about five minutes ago when bro was not on fire but i digress they then remove the talisman and try and go into the house okarun's like will i get burnt again and momo's like nah don't worry about it and if you do i'll just throw your ass back in the ditch you know she gives zero fucks cause bro is suffering right now and she's just playing it up for laughs like why have enemies when you've got friends like this though so thank Thankfully, Momo's grandma isn't home and after they finish changing, they start chatting for a bit. So after arguing about Okarun's junk and lack of friends, the bells start ringing and not just any bell. It turns out Momo's grandma installed two bells, one for humans and the other for evil spirits. Like bro, who does that? Your grandma has to be the president of bad juju cause how do you go about installing a doorbell for evil spirits? Like if I ever get an invitation to a house like this, I'm switching continents ASAP. So it turns out when they remove the talisman, they forgot to put it back on and this is how you get taken out by your ops because now they've got a big ass spirit who has their location and is looking for a 1v1 so they start devising a plan to put the talisman back up so it ends up destroying the evil spirit okaron's like nah I i'm gonna get dusted too so they have to make it outside the house before putting the talisman back on but to do that they have to head outside towards where the spirit is so they go outside and immediately this demon summons his domain expansion and starts jumping them and i'm like wow this is standard and crash out to waste no time and you'll see what i mean in a minute so momo and okarun are trying to get out but with the domain up they can put up the talisman because then okarun will get up getting destroyed with the monster all of a sudden they start bleeding from their noses which catches them off guard turns out this fatal spirit has been releasing some of that garlic gas a lot of it momo and okarun were getting their shit rocked all of a sudden this big ass monster comes out of nowhere and start talking about some I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna eat your ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna beat your ass, I'm gonna eat your ass. I'm gonna ass either anyway, so I might as well just eat your ass. So now, they're under attack by Fatso over here, who is also afraid. Like, oh my god, do you all have anything else to do? Go get a job or something. Bro, hell, pick up a hobby. Get yourself some bitches for all I care, cause you all can't keep getting away with this. You can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it! And they know the ass is cooked because this monster is still going crazy and bro is not playing because bro is screaming at the top of his lung that he wants their banana. What did he say? How are you out here, all big bodied, moving like this? You should be in the NFL. So the guys ended up realizing that the monster was an alien called a flatwood monster, which would explain the constant banana talk. Like, bro would not stop yapping about bananas, cause dander than aliens be on some freaky shit. So Okan is like, bro, how about I fight him? With you surprising Turbo Granny's powers, I can try and 
and take him out. Okaun starts transforming into Fidelian and boom, he's in a store with granny form. But something is different with bro, he's depressed as hell, a man's personality does a whole 180. So the alien tries to attack Okaun and he straight up tears into his fingers. Like bro took a big bite and took all his fingers, oh my god. So it turns out Okaun is fast as hell now and with the power of Turbo Granny it seems this fight might just be over. But Okaun's body ain't built for all that. Like you are not him the alien proceeds to knock him out of the transformation and bro is clocked out so momo as always has to end up saving him but now since okarun can't handle turbo granny's power they have to devise a plan the alien seems to work based on the rules of sumo so if its hand touches the floor it loses so they try beating it by making its hand touch the ground okarun transforms again and proceeds to decimate one of the alien's legs which leaves bro all knocked out then momo tries to trip the alien with a psychic power which ends up making big bone over here start to fall and he starts turning into ashes they give him that tano special but immediately bro grows two more legs like he's the definition of standing on business grabs momo and start pummeling the hell out of her so momo locks in she's pissed now she starts talking smack to the alien like look kill me and i will do shit i will walk the fuck out of here he barely can ass he better just see ass now when we left cause i think kill me hot beat real fast fuck you think ass bitch ass whole ass a bitch ass he barely can ass he barely can't fuck around because i will call the fucking police put up my damn clock on then i will then he gonna fake like i'm a real damn police he barely so the alien starts going to town but ah uh, this was all part of momo's plan because now she's outside the gates domain and this was how bro knew he was cooked he tries to swing on her but momo dodges and she uses her power to pull okarun and the talisman towards her then ends up destroying the alien so they're all safe and good the alien is finally defeated but Momo ends up losing consciousness, which means she loses her grip on her powers. Turbo Granny takes that opportunity and BAM! 